Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Emmanuel Zambrano. Uh, as an information technology student and a person who is very much interested in art, uh, it was easy for me to get hooked by something like a field like digital art. Project Hour was an idea that stemmed from my passion for technology and art. Pro Project Hour takes people like myself into account, uh, web developers, mobile app developers, UI designers, UX designers, and graphic designers can all benefit from, a pr from Project Aura. An aura is the distinctive atmosphere or quality that seems to be generated by a person, place, or thing. That is exactly what this device intends to capture, that feeling you get in a particular moment. Um, when using this device, you can essentially get the mood of any situation, much like you can with a photograph. OK, so the world is a giant place with more colors than anyone can imagine. They're said to be about 10 million. However, when you take into account factors like lighting conditions, uh, that number is closer to infinity. Project Arrow was designed to take any color in the real world and turn it into values that computers can read, specifically RGB values and hexadecimal values. OK, so now I will show you a video of how the device works. Okay, so from the video, we can see that the device is connected via Bluetooth to the, to the mobile phone, and the user controls when the device sends it a new color. I have mentioned that Project Aura is designed to capture the feeling in a particular moment. Uh, this leads us into, th into areas such as color theory and psychology. Designers are very, very familiar with borrowing findings from fields such as psychology. They use scientific theories of how the brain works to, to create things that are proven to be pleasing. Color theory is the science behind our emotional connections to colors. There's no doubt that colors can evoke different emotions. For example, warm colors like red, orange, and yellow are generally energizing, passionate, and positive. In theory, with Project Aura, the colors the user scans will be a direct reflection of the mood at that moment. So Project Aura functions because of the teamwork of a few electrical components. The device includes an RGB color sensor, a Bluetooth LE, module, and Arduino Uno microcontroller, and other, f and other components that are for connecting, making connections, and for power to be distributed. These are jumpers and resistors. The, the first device used is an Arduino Uno. The Arduino is an open source platform. It, inc it includes an IDE for, to create software. Code is uploaded to the Arduino and it controls the other two modules in this project. The RGB color sensor is an integral part of this project. It gathers data from its surroundings. It includes an IR blocking filter, which minimizes data collection, data, which minimizes data collected from that part of the light spectrum. This leads to more accurate color measurements.
another part of this project, another integral part of this project is the Bluetooth module. It allows for data to be sent from the device to the phone and from the phone to the device. The Bluetooth module works as, an, as a universal asynchronous receiver slash transmitter. For short, we call it UART. UART allows for data, ASCII data to be sent to and from the device. To present data to the user, a mobile application was used. It's called, it's called Bluefruit. It's created by Adafruit. It has many features to help you control your Arduino via Bluetooth. It has a UR monitor, which is what I used to send and receive data from the devices. An RGB LED was used to display the color the user is scanning in real time. So there are many things that can improve for this project. For example, social media integration would be a great idea. And for that, we'll need a custom application. Um, another thing is a nice enclosure for the device to go in to hide all the electrical components. And, it's un and in the future, to get it down to a smaller form factor. And if anyone wants to participate in the project, uh, you could find the documents on GitHub. And with that being said, thank you all very much.